I've always loved sci-fi and the idea of being right on the
going on everybody it's dr greenstone welcome back to the channel and if you're new thank you so much for dropping by today i've got a special treat for you guys a couple of things first let's get this out of the way i had a voice in my head shortly after i posted in discord this morning you see i i'd been thinking about it and uh like i had tried to elevate the price of cards i'd announced that instead of going for 500 we're gonna go for a thousand you guys are right 500 is too low like there's no way i can do 40 cards because that's what it was looking like and uh then i i that voice that i was talking about it, it was a it was uh joe rogan and he told me to quit being a little bitch <laughs> Spiritually, like he doesn't talk to me. I don't know this guy. But uh, whether it, I get it or not, I'm gonna stick to my word. I'm gonna be a man. We're gonna go for 500. We're gonna go for 500 per card. And if I die, I die. <laughs> so. Yeah, my pain is your gain. Uh, here's what the schedule is going to be looking like, boys. Uh, we're going to be grinding today on some Minecraft. Uh, I am trying a new uh, hardcore playthrough single player. Taking a break from the realm. Had a lot of big projects that were going on that were just, frankly, overwhelming me. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of tapped out at the moment. I'm thinking I don't want to do something so large scale right now. I, I want to just like narrow down my focus, like work on some smaller buildings, because I think the enormity of the project is just kind of like crushing me. And doing a hardcore run, it, it's going to put a new edge on on things, and I, I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's let's let's, let's get to it. <laughs> But uh, afterwards at 5.30, we're going to take a 10-minute hiatus. Uh, it could be 5-10 minutes while I, get, uh, while I get ready to kill my quads for your amusement. And, uh, right. How this is going to work is that I have uh, created a new reward in channel points. Uh, you're going to find it about, um, on the fourth line down, it's going to be real simple. It says, add a card. And every time I see add a card in the comments section, I'm going to be tallying it on this sheet of paper here. Anybody that sticks around in the chat will be able to hold me accountable for how many cards I have to do exactly. I'm going to be doing my best to keep track. At the end of it, I'll be doing all the cards that you guys submit. There is no time limit. You can submit as many as you want. If you have the points, you can submit it. And this is starting now. So if you got the points, use them. At 5.30, that's closed. If you make any points past 5.30, they don't count towards the cards. So with that out of the way, let's start up the hardcore run, guys. Really looking forward to it. What should we name this one? Hardcore what? I was thinking Hardcore Chingador, but uh, I, I don't like that one too much. Uh, it's the first one that pops into my head. Tells you a lot about me, right? Uh, how about this? Hardcore Harlot. Mm, nah, 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 nah. It, 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 it rhymes. It sounds good, but uh, I, I don't like it. this one then. Hell run. Hell run. That's close. Sounds almost too obvious though, doesn't it? Don't want to make Ganon blush if he ever comes on and sees it either. Mm. 
Let's call it Hardcore Hello Kitty. Tell you what, let's call this Green Inferno. Green because, well, me. And Green Inferno because that's actually a really, like, gory movie on Netflix right now. Hey, what's up, Nature Tech? We're, we're gonna call it Green Inferno. Green Inferno is about a race of cannibals. Yep, feel free to start submitting them. It's gonna be under the add a card button in, uh, in uh, the rocks category. Alright, so it's a Green Inferno and the world name is going to be... Stone Corpse, why not? That's game mode hardcore. Game rules. Like, I don't think we need any more than that. Oh, and now I gotta start tallying all of these things. After I get a new pen. I don't think there should be any limit on how many times you can submit your points, guys. And like I said, you can start submitting those right now. I'll be tallying them all up on this sheet of paper here for those who missed it. And at the end, I'll announce how many I got. And uh, I'll just give you a glimpse of uh, my gym right here. This is where I'm going to be working. This is where the magic's going to be happening. <laughs> really uh, looking forward to it. And uh, with that, let's get started. It's a whole new world. I'm going to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, oh, oh boy, I haven't done a hardcore run in a minute. I started one on the Xbox One a while back, but I never finished it. I haven't died yet, but... It's hard to stay motivated for that type of thing. But here... Hold on, let's get my bearings. Let's get my bearings. I'm on a flat plains. That's a now That is a nice mountain biome over there. Got plenty more. Spend them if you, spend them if you got them. Like, it, it, it really puts the tension on you. Like, every little thing you do in here counts. You have to be strategic with how you spend your time and your resources. Like, I'm gonna be going really small scale this time. I was gonna gather up some wood real quick. I'm gonna get a couple of saplings from these guys to take them with me. I need tools, but I think I'm gonna go live up in those mountains over there and then I'm gonna spread out. The mountains seem like they would be a good place to stay away from like low, like some of these plains mobs. Because the way that mob spawning works is uh, that they don't spawn they don't spawn directly on a block, like they kind of spawn on the edge. Like it, it, it's very it, it's odd, and with those uh, sheer cliffs and those one or one by two wide uh, areas right there, mobs are going to have a more difficult time spawning in general, and that's going to give me an advantage. probably go ahead and make my first tools while I'm thinking about it. Oh, if the music is too loud, let me know, guys. I can turn that down. Okay, gonna need, at least for now, a woodcutting axe. One pickaxe. I'll get a shovel later. Oh, you fixed the mud crab? Oh, you made that your profile pic? Dope, dude. I just realized what I'm missing, man. I don't have my hat near me. I failed. Where's my hat? I was like, I think I have everything. I should be fine. Everything is not fine. Oh wait, hold on a second, dude. I was just talking about this, and then I ran off without grabbing my saplings. I want at least three or four of these birch and oak saplings, so I don't have to keep coming down here to grab them. If I want to start my own little farm, then I'll have the seeds to begin. 
So that's oh, there's a birch right here. And that is another redemption for a card. Thank you, Mind Tricks. <laughs> oh man. What are we at so far? Nature Tech has added two so far. Mind Tricks has added two more. So we are at four cards. Broken Mouse has said on Discord that he won't be able to make it. Just in case, I'm going to be adding ten for him at the end of this. Oh, I don't have a light trip. That's going to take some getting used to. Uh, good man, he's adding them all at once. Oh, slow down, dude. I'm having a hard time keeping track of all of these. Oh, shit. Six, seven, eight, nine. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two. <laughs> Thanks, Sour Patch. Appreciate the 20 bits, man. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, my God. Oh, right away. Right away. We're up to 14 so far. <laughs> We're up to 14 so far. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sour Patch. Uh, appreciate you, buddy. How's your drive going so far? You know what? Two weeds should be fine, as long as I'm careful about the saplings. I should be okay. Let's see if I can grab some fish. Oh man, I'm not used to having my enchantments. But this is going to be a great start to our run here. Won't have to worry about starving. Yeah, I did. I really did. Oh, you guys added another four? You guys added another four? What's our total up to? I looked away and there was like... <laughs> no, you added another six. So we're up to 20. That's 20 cards. Thank you so much, Sour Patch. I guess my pain is my gain, too. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Oh, dude, I hit that fish so hard I got bone meal. But I'm gonna have to find some sheep really quick here. Because I'm, I'm not looking forward to spending my night in a hole in the ground. The day's already halfway done. I got just enough fish to feed me. A couple pieces of kelp. I'm gonna make a farm if I want. Dude, I am! I went over the- I, I broke out the math <laughs> on Discord and do 20 squats, uh, 20 cards is, it's 421 squats. So far, you guys have put me in it for 421 and with Broken Mouse, uh, Broken Mouse's additional 10, that is going to be, fuck. We're looking at 31 squats total so far, 31 cards total. That's over 700. Thank you. Thank you, Sourpatch. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I did. I did it to myself. I have no one to blame but me. Oh, there's a sheep. If I can get some shears, I'd rather keep that guy alive. So let's see if there's any iron behind this coal here. Dude, he's making it rain on me. But those are more like stripper darts, bro. It's like tying a dollar to a nickel and throwing it at me. <laughs> Still appreciate it. It's 
still appreciate it though, buddy. Like, I'm obviously too large, uh, too small, I mean, to have these cards attached to bits. But I appreciate the thought and the consideration, man. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've, uh, done some adjusting here. <laughs> thanks, dude. I'll blow out my quadriceps for two bucks, sure. <laughs> I'm a stubborn bastard, so I'm gonna be trying to finish him anyway, even if I can't. I know. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful, like I'm just genuinely distraught over the stupid decision I made that's led me to this moment. I do sound a bit ungrateful though, and I apologize for that. I'm like, legitimately, I'm not looking <laughs> to this at all. I've just been like, sitting here think, like contemplating my own foolishness for the past hour. Like what am I gonna do to prepare for this? How can I prepare for this? Like, what even are my options, you know? How can I even finish this? Somehow. I'll find a way. G give me give me your steak. There we go. Alright, I gotta get a furnace going. Ooh. Got an advancement, guys. see any more sheep. That's not good. There's some pigs over there, I think? Some cows on that hill. I don't want to kill all the cows. But I need a little bit of leather. But not a sh Oh, there's a sheep. Hopefully he's gonna give me two wool. If he does, I'm set. One punch xenomorph. Chitin armor. Is that an upgrade? That sounds like a downgrade from the Falmer armor. see if I can kill this sheep with a pickaxe. An eye appointment? Do you have bad eyesight? Or are they just hurt from staring at screens all day? Because I know mine do. Like, it's been a genuine problem. I've, been, I've considered getting, like... Uh, UV canceling glasses at uh, Walgreens a couple of times, but they're pretty expensive. They're like 30 bucks starting. Oh, it's your plan. Okay. Eventually, that's the goal. Like, in your playthrough, are you allowing yourself to kill the Falmer? Or is that not a thing? Is it like you don't kill the Charis? The Charis are the Xenomorphs? Or are the Falmer, Falmer also the Xenomorphs? How does that work? Sheep! Dude! I might be able to get some sleep tonight. Okay. So that's a slime chunk right there. That's good. That's good to know. Hold up, I'm not gonna make it much further unless I get a furnace going. Buy Pokemon cards. <laughs> you want me to do Gan- You want me to do a Ganon? And uh, maybe not Pokemon cards. Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I can get into that. Like, I've never been too, like, I, I, I have some Pokemon cards, but it's always been Yu-Gi-Oh cards that I've collected the most. Oh, you want to see who gets the better? <laughs> That's understandable. You just don't like the, okay. 
So you can kill the farmer, but you can't kill the chars. No. No. Then Yu-Gi-Oh, I can do a Yu-Gi-Oh, bro. Oh, man. The mobs are already starting to come out. Nature is nature tech. There was never a question for me, dude. What's up, Shenan again, and how are you doing? Oh, you got a rock. Nice, man. Uh, just, uh, just to give you a heads up, Shenan again, and today I'm doing a Tyson Squat Challenge. For every 500 points that you spend every time you click the Donate a Card button and Channel Points, I have to do another card on my Tyson Squat set. Dude, I saw that you were starting to sneeze and cough yesterday. Like, is it bad? It's not the Rona, is it? Ah, uh, dude, that sucks. I'm sorry to hear it. Yeah, you're gonna be alright, man? Also, that COD video you did? Like, I can really see, like, that you're starting to branch out, experiment a bit. You're getting really good at it. A sun and Discord emo. <laughs> Alright, man, will do. A sub and Discord. You got it. Yeah, you still did really well, dude. He had a really smooth transitioning. What the heck was I doing? Oh yeah, I was making a bed, man. I was. Like... <laughs> I totally forgot what I was trying to do. I'll sleep next to the lava. Yeah. I'd call it a dead pool. got our bed, we got some food, like just enough wood to get by, it's time to branch out guys, gonna use up the last of this wood pick, grab some coal on the way, it's not Linus's, I looked into it, it's Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown was the guy who kept getting the rock during the trick-or-treating. Yep, it's a brand new world, dude. It's a hardcore run. I have no idea how this is going to end. Like, the, my goal is I want to make it a thousand days in-game. This is, this is day two so far. I got spawned next to these mountains here. Yeah, I've been working on it a little bit. Like, every time I watch one of you guys stream, like, I think about what worked for you, like, uh, what's, uh, helping your channel seem successful, what makes it seem more professional. Like, I, 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 I try and learn as much as I can as I'm watching. And, and uh, yeah, I, I tried some things, I'm liking the new border. Like, it's not a real border, I just, like, found, uh, like, a mossy cobblestone banner. Now, that's another portal over there. In the swamp. 
I'm not sure if I want to put my house up here. That plateau right there, it, it would be a bit easier. But it's also more accessible. There's a cave system right there. I might have more success if I move to that peak. I'm thinking about building mountaintop this time. And I realized, it's like, when I was recording videos and I was posting them to YouTube, like, not having a chat available for, uh, like, available for people to see, like, really took a lot of context out of the conversation. Made it more confusing. So this is, like, more beneficial if I wanted to record these and put them on YouTube in the, fu in the future. Let me grab some pork chops. Gonna see a lot of murder hoboism going on at the beginning. Not sure where I want to set up camp yet. But I could use some readily available sheep. I might just turn this area into a sheep pen. But then again, there's always gonna be more sheep. Hermaeus Mora. Be careful. He's a deceitful one. He'll trick you, fool you. To a false sense of security. My favorite dangerous god. That's a tough one. Mm. Honestly, I was just talking shit, but yeah, Hermaeus Mora, I think, was probably my favorite. Like, mostly because he, of exposure. I haven't played any other Elder Scrolls titles, and uh, he's really the only god that you, you have extended conversations with, like that you have frequent contact with uh, in Skyrim. Maybe I could clear this out. Get myself a cool portal. There's some gold right there. Hold on a sec. I don't have any iron, so I can't take that uh, god. Well, that actually might be enough. No, you didn't miss any cards, Sour Patch. We're still at 21. That gold shovel might come in handy. Yeah, bro, you're good. Okay. I really like these new nether portals that they have in the middle of nowhere. It's a fun thing to discover. That way I don't have to, like, dig down to get obsidian. And I almost jumped into the lava. <laughs> Alright, what's that? Uh, I believe so. Oh, thanks, Mind Tricks. Really appreciate you, man. If I hit a milestone, I don't really have any in particular. I haven't thought that far ahead. Oh, I do have the gold block. Okay, I thought it just disintegrated for a moment. I got so sad. Well, want to see where it goes? Never mind, I can't. <clears throat> How can't I go? Why can't I go in here yet? Dude, shenanigan, and thank you so much. Ah, uh, thank you guys. R really appreciate every little bit, man. It helps. Like, I'm not... Like, for milestones, like, what would you guys want to see? <laughs> you started that my tricks. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to this then. I think it might be the crying obsidian that's preventing me from uh, lighting this portal. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about starting in the mountains, but it might be better if I find a village first. I almost jumped straight into this crevasse, but there's some iron down there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a shame, man. I know he was really looking forward to this. That's why, once again, for Mouse, I'm going to be adding another 10 cards. Yeah, we can do that. Another collab. But every so often. I know that at 100 uh, followers, that's going to be the first time we get on Stream Raiders. So that might just be the event. That might be the day. But I don't want to get too hung up on the mi milestones, you know? That, that makes me think about the wrong aspects of streaming. But if you guys have any suggestions, like another stream or collab, for example, like, let me know down in the chat what you would want to see as a milestone event. Sorry to hear that, dude. It seems like no matter what kind of service you get, there are just certain parts of the United States that is just shit. I'd always hit a dead patch on 94 when I was going up to Minneapolis. No matter what I had, T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, they, they were all shit. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're going caving, guys. I don't have any armor and there's already a creeper right at the front. Free cobble. <laughs> Thanks, mind tricks. It's not like I don't give it any thought at all to it, but it's one that I, I just I don't want to I don't want to obsess over it. You know what I'm saying? It's not the reason. It's not the goal. So, what's your guys' experience with hardcore? Have you guys done a hardcore server before? I know Sour Patch says that he hasn't. Is it something that you've wanted to do in the past? And what are your expectations for this run? How far do you think I'm going to make it? Eagle Eye 72143, you got it. You can't do hardcore on PS4? Really? 20 minutes? Nice, man. Kind of think of it. That's about as far as I lasted on my first survival world, so... Yeah, I can see it, too. There's no shame in that. I think what I'm doing right now... Okay. I'm, I reached a dead end, thank God. Like, going into a cave without any armor or equipment? Like, that's not... This is not five head. It's not even four head. It's more like three head. But it might be my home away from home tonight. Looks like it's starting to get dark. Sims 4 right now? Dope, dude. Zanubis. Mind tricks. If you would, please use your great powers bestowed upon thee. Thank you, man. Yeah, we can give him a shot. Yeah, I get a spam bot like once or twice every stream. What are you gonna do, you know? I mean, it's an extra viewer for like two minutes. Okay, Betty bot time. <laughs> oh boy. Sorry you're having connection issues, Sour Patch. When do you think you're gonna be parked for the night? <laughs> Thank you so much, Sour. 
by Sour Patch, dude. You didn't have to. You really didn't. I'm still... I'm very grateful for it, man. So I, I didn't bring my bed. Okay, I left my bed there. I might as well do some smithing, like some smelting real quick. Get my armor up before I keep going. It's gonna get kind of rough if I don't get my supplies in order. So this is day three. We're on 21 so far. I don't think anybody's donated a card since the first, uh, since the first splurge. I guess in the meantime, let's get as much of this uh, coal as I can. Oh wow! Gold efficiency too, guys. Super fast. You can already instant tick dirt with that. That's not bad. 29 29k. What do you mean 29k? What? Hold on a second. Did I miss any card donations? No, I didn't. Okay, okay, so we're still at 21 cards, guys. Okay, 29. Got gotcha, you, bro. Alright. That's just enough for some pants. First, very important piece of equipment. <laughs> yeah, I said 21, bro. <laughs> it's like 29. How did we get there so fast? Don't scare me like that, man. And once again, for anyone joining us, in the, our channel point section under rocks, you can select add a card for 500 channel points, and that will put an extra card onto my Tyson squad set. I will suffer for your amusement. Now it's time to fence these caves for some Iron Jordans. What's up? Skongor? Am I saying that right? How are you doing, buddy? Just trying to get my tool set in order right now. And thank you so much for the follow, dude. How's your day been? It's hard to stream. Like, what aspects of it makes it difficult? Because <clears throat> I know that uh, my girlfriend, Black Kitty 2, shout out in the chat, is, uh, like, she was considering doing a Sims 4 stream at one point. She doesn't say it, but I know she wants to. SC or Skongor? Alright, man, how's your day been so far? <laughs> Welcome to the Beanie Begray Brigade. I lost my beanie. Like I'm bad rep, man. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Let's get those Jordans set. And my spiritual beanie, my metal beanie. We're almost done, we're almost ready. Yeah, once you get everything set up. I kind of get that. Like, for the first 15, 20 minutes, you're just, like, making the shape of your house, and then you're getting, like, deciding which of the three beds you can choose, that type of thing. And thanks for that shout-out, Mind Tricks. What else I got around here? collect as much wool as possible. Not gonna be sticking around here, man. You didn't? I think he got 300 rocks when he first joined the chat. How many rocks you got, bro? 
you should have what? 310, something like that right now. Yeah, that sounds right. Then for every 500 rocks you guys put into the chat, like I will be doing like one extra card on a Tyson squat challenge. It, it, it's a somewhat exponentially more difficult challenge the more cards you do. It, it's difficult to it's difficult to describe what this thing is vertically, but it's really gonna suck. <laughs> it's nice, man, ain't it? Oh yeah, I don't have a lighter anymore. Or any of my enchantments. That's gonna get that's gonna take some getting used to, dude. Watch this. I'm not gonna go out to a mob. I'm gonna die when I misjudge the jump. It's gonna be Skyrim all over again. <laughs> Thanks for plugging that mind tricks. <laughs> Thanks, Gongor. Alright. Out of food already, man. Nah, no, nothing's changed. Gotcha, Nature Tech. I've been trying to escape all that negativity that's been coming with the year, you know? I'm just trying to wait to relax and get away from all that. I find it's really easy to fixate on the things that we hate, that we don't like. And that uh, it's harder to look forward to the things that we love and enjoy. At least when so many other, like, media avenues and individuals are, like, promoting this speculative, fear-mongering garbage. That's what it is. Like, the majority of these news channels on today, like, they're not actually news channels. They're talk shows. They're talk shows that are disguised to look like news channels, and it's all speculative, fear-mongering bullshit, and... It's what everybody fixates on, it's what everybody parrots, and I I just want to get away from that, dude. I still haven't done it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Shinra. <laughs> I did. I think I'm going to have to make that a custom command. Hold on a second, I need that crafting table and this bed. What am I doing leaving these? After I make a shears? Do I have any more sticks? Let's get rid of the seeds real quick. Make up these torches here. I should be able to hold everything, all right. Pickles, why? Why, you want him to stare more at you? Like, get a more direct view? <laughs> now, let me erase the pickle, man. Uh, pickle Rick has always been a staple of this channel. Uh, I don't have any room. Crap. Now I do. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Love you too. Love you too, my tricks. Uh, 
guys, is that uh, music a little too loud? It sounds kind of loud to me. Hold on a second. Nice. 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 No, there's a, a specific channel point redemption that you gotta pick for the cards. Yeah, I was, I was trying to exp I Yeah, I don't think I explained that right. <laughs> so we're up to 22, and with Broken Mouse's Absentee Ballots, that's 32, 32 cards for this Tyson Squad set. Yeah, if you want to, go ahead. More the merrier, man. Alright, so what direction do you guys think this world is going to be in? I need to find my new home. Day four. Already in day four. Not bad. When I can just chuck this thing. It's better to have the papyrus. <laughs> I robbed his future and added it to my own. Except I gained nothing from that. He just died for my amusement. <laughs> I'll honor his stoner, his stolen future, by living, living, thriving, and conquering. Do I have any pork chops? Yes, I do. Hello there. Here, little picky. Here, little picky. Let me in. Is this the third one that's gonna get away? Oh, I don't have any food. It just occurred to me, I could kill, I could light them on fire and then kill them, and that would give me cooked pork chops, so I wouldn't technically have to cook them. That's something I'm gonna, something I'm gonna have to keep in mind for the future. I already flubbed it. Mods my Minecraft. How much fucking goddamn work is this gonna take till I set up all the machines? I don't know, is this something like Terra Firma Punk? God, I've seen the Ethos Let's Play of that, and that looks absolutely insane. Like, how on earth do we even remember all the steps to make these things? I'm right back where I started. I just did a big circle, guys. I'm lost in this swamp. Nature Tech redeemed the card. 23. Oh, mother. Oh, 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 man. Before six or eight? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to be done with the stream at around six o'clock. Uh, the Minecraft portion is going to be over at 5.30. That's when the squats are going to begin after a 10 minute hiatus. Where, you know, I write my final will and testament and pray to my various gods. That type of thing. Ugh. Oh, it's going to be all pain and no gains. <laughs> I'm going to have my crutches on standby. They're in the bucket in the basement. I'm gonna need to call up an installation man. I'm gonna need to get like a safety bar installed in my bathroom. Don't man. Then we definitely will. 
I got you, man. What you gonna be playing? GTA, Call of Duty, Rocket League? Yeah, we on 23. I swear to God, I just got these papyruses. I'm so lost, dude. This is that new world feel. And I like these dark oaks. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, right? I'm just gonna have to have, like, a rope bolted into the ground. I'm gonna have to pull myself along. I got you, Nature Tech. Working on your Xenomorph playthrough. Anything in here? No. Nothing special? Okay. How would you like to donate to the Greenstone Foundation, cows? Donations are always appreciated. They're gonna go a long way. Trying to hunt uh, Final Fantasy 14. That's the MMO version, isn't it? Like I played Final Fantasy. Nice, dude. How's that so far? Does it still feel like Final Fantasy? Like, I know with Elder Scrolls Online, they had to incorporate time-based combat to make it more fair for PvP. But, is that... In character creation so far, you're gonna have to tell me how it goes. Are you gonna be streaming that? Recording that? Most of the time I can even make Albert Einstein disappear. So brain dead most of the time. <laughs> Dude, I'm the same way. That's why I just leave mods alone. I don't even try. I know I'm gonna fuck them up. <laughs> like for my RL craft server, I had to have a buddy help me out. Madman Larry. He sometimes hops on this channel. This isn't one you should go in blind. I figure. Want to understand what it is you're getting into so that you know how to allocate your points correctly. Oh. Oh, that's a long way down. I'm not ready to explore this area yet. My inventory is full and I don't have any place to store anything. Yeah, dude, isn't it? Like... Most of the time I get spawned in the middle of the ocean, then I get taken out by a sea serpent or mermaids, or both. Ooh, puppies. I don't have any bones, no! I have to wait until nightfall, no! I want a puppy! Yeah. And then, like, uh, they have so many challenge areas, like those battle towers, the pyramids that, that I found, the desert. Then there are these underwater, like, labyrinths. Like, expanded guardian temples, that type of thing. And some of these underground dungeons just go on forever, dude. And, and the gnarly thing about those is that I can tell they're just, like, rehashed, uh, uh, Minecraft, uh, uh, mines. Like, you know the abandoned mines? That's basically what those dungeons are, is they're just rehashed and retextured. Dude, foxes too? Man, I I haven't found any foxes so far in El Tontorado. And here they are. There were the puppies back there. And I've got no way to tame them at the moment. This is making me so sad, bro. I was doing an RL craft run for a little bit on this channel, but, like, it's so gnarly, dude. All it was was Madman Larry and I dying over and over again in the same dungeon. 
Like, I, it's made me realize, like, there's no getting better at... Like, you don't win RL crap. You just get a little better every time. And horses? What is going on? These white horses right here. Like, I'm finding these rare mobs all over the place. What is even happening right now, bro? My luck is ridiculous. And I still haven't found a village. At this point, do I even want to find a village? Should I just set up shop here? I'll make my own damn village. I basically have everything I need. This is the last plane I'm gonna look in. Now, is that a lake or is that the ocean? Further in the mod? Diamond seeds. That sounds expensive. Like, how the heck do you make diamond seeds? What do they even grow? What do you grow with diamond seeds? Diamonds? Pet the chicken. Diamond Essison. Really? So it's basically renewable diamonds. That's dope. Dude. Before I go totally murder hobo on this field here, there are chickens, horses, cows. If I can find sheep here, this would this be perfect. Yeah, look at that. There's like four sheep over there. Okay, I'm not finding any villages. I'm gonna have to explore later on, but... Guys, this looks like my field. Yeah. You did Monster's map? Like, I remember all the Z modes. Like, Broken Mouse uh, has a Discord, and he shares all of his recent builds and his creations there. Like, he has 19 unique emotes that he custom made. And that is 24. We are up to 24 cards so far, guys. Keep them coming. I'm gonna get to a high elevation real quick. I don't think I'm gonna be building high. I just wanna see, like, what's going on in this area. That field over there is really nice. I can m make some kind of barn, some stable. I wanna try and make everything compact this playthrough. Oh, there's even a bee's nest over here. Nice! Yeah, there's the birch forest over here. It's already kind of spreading into this oak forest. And there's dark oak. And I know a ways back there was some spruce. So that's the majority of the wood I need. And it looks like the birch just continues to go in that direction. No jungle, no acacia so far, but that's okay. I'll have to go out and explore eventually. Yeah. And there's even a cave entrance. Perfect, dude. Yeah, this is gonna be my spot. This is my space. Let's do it. But I need a house. I'm gonna need some chests, I'm gonna need a house. And I think I want to put the house in a, in a defensible location. I want this hill right here.
<laughs> it sounds like real life. The growing harvesting process automatic. You play to play harder, bro. You work hard to work even harder. Produce to enhance production. That's a real fucking grinder, bro. That's how you do it. Mortal Kombat, dude. Ah. Uh, shit. Like, I gotta be in the right mood for Mortal Kombat. Because all the people that I've played Mortal Kombat with are way better at it than I am. Like, they've been playing it since they were like 7 or 8. Like, they had the original copy of the 1 and 2 on the PS1 or some ridiculous crap. Oh, dude. And they always whoop my ass. It's, it's unadulterated, man. It's like I'm trying to figure out the specials and they're comboing me into oblivion. Uh, my favorite fighter. Let's see. Uh, Liu Kang. Like, I, I, I know that might be... Liu Kang might be a lot of people's favorites, but, like, he's... Just simply put, the character that I managed to, like, learn the fastest... I think he's a beginner character in, in general, but that just shows you how much I played, man. Like, I play a Mortal Kombat, Kombat like I play most games. Sporadically. Like, I'll pick the controller up and play it for 30 minutes and put it down, then I won't touch it again for 3 months until somebody else wants to play it. In tier 5 seats. I have to make this item to process. So it, it it just keeps going. One tier rolls into another. Yeah, this hill right here, I think, is how we're gonna do it. Hmm. Maybe I just want to put it on that plateau right there next to the trees. It would be easier to put my house up right there on that plateau. I'm pretty indecisive about this, man. I don't have a plan. I'm just winging it. I don't need any of this stuff. Hold on a second. Let me toss the sticks. Grab the wood. It is. Like, which situation specifically? I imagine when you're trying to run away. I'm really bullheaded, so I almost never do, man. <laughs> you're right in the whole ass wiki page. No, you know what? Live by the hill, die by the hill. Live by the hill, die by the hill. We're gonna roll with it. it is what we're gonna be on. I'm gonna need some stone. I'm gonna need some dark oak. I'm gonna need some spruce. More birch. Mostly, I just need a chest for right now. I need a chest. I need to get down to that mine. I need to grab some resources. I gotta start running some cobblestone through the furnaces. It's gonna be easier if I set up my house here on this prairie land where the horses are at. Then I'll be able to build up some kind of stable later on. I just got a nice watering hole here.
dope. Or high tip. No, I don't get. I'm not too big into the mods. I'm I'm I mostly stick to vanilla. Mystic Agriculture. It's a new game. What kind of? I haven't heard of it, man. What's it gonna be about? Okay. Right here is where we're gonna put the bed. Crafting table. Get a double chest going. Or a single chest will do for now. Put all my randos in. Gonna, not gonna need that and that. I'm gonna keep the wood. Throw in the iron ore. Well, actually, I'm going mining. I might as well keep it. Raw beef. Perfect. I'm gonna need to cook all that, actually. Let's put birch logs away. Just Minecraft bunched together with Skyrim? Dude. Okay, yeah, I'm a little excited for that. Like, what, did somebody recreate Skyrim Minecraft? I would be all about that, man. Gonna have my various meats right here. Feathers. Fire charge. I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but it could be cool. Some dirt. Bone meal. Kelp. Nuggies. Shears. Magma blocks. Block of gold. I'm gonna keep the coal and the chest, actually. Nah, I better put it in the furnace. Another rack, granite, flint, and let's plant this sugar cane. I'm actually going to take these oak logs back out. Yeah, I drew the connection to Hypixel when he first set it. But hearing that it's gonna be a, like it's gonna be a, a Skyrim mod, that sounds so dope. Yeah, dude, don't worry. We're gonna check out Eagle Eye. Yeah, go ahead. I don't think I've disallowed him. I'm gonna need a sword for this. Just occurred to me, I gotta finish this coffee like now. I can't be drinking this before I do the squats. I got two hours left. But that's not something I want going through my system when I'm doing 30 plus cards. Ugh. All right, all right, that's right, I was gonna plant. I'm gonna spread the seed, watch it grow. <laughs> yeah, see, you imagine you were able to do it. Dope. I'm gonna have to terraform this puddle a little bit. I'll make it a nice pond. This is gonna be my backyard, I think. It'll be like my. This will be the centerpiece for my garden area. I'm thinking. I'm gonna lay out the house like this, yeah? We're gonna kind of make it an odd shape. It's going to be. a few diagonals. 
have it kind of go in a diagonal line like this. And then we'll wrap it around. And we'll kind of extend it this way too. Just to give you guys like the idea of what I got in mind for this. When I take my break in about 15 minutes here, I'll throw up that video for you guys to watch. Get that out of the way. No more stalling. Let's grab our beef. Let's go spelunking. Got plenty of wood to make up more torches. More torches. I don't have as much food as I would like, but it's better than nothing. There was a cave entrance over here. Yep. Just gonna highlight it with some torches. Let's do it. This way. It's gonna get easy to lost in here and I have no plans on how to find my way back. So at the end of this, it's very possible I'm just going to be digging straight straight up, man. Only 20 rocks. Man, you were rolling high before this video. Had like 5,000 of the things. Like, don't worry, dude. I'm going to be streaming every day of the week this week. Monday through Friday, I'm going to be streaming 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. That's going to be the schedule for the next couple of weeks until my girlfriend goes back to college. And we're going to have to make an adjustment so I can accommodate, uh, like, her. She uses the office down here for schoolwork. Nice. Nice, dude. Growth speed of the crops will be dipped depending on the season. Oh, and the birds can eat them? Bro. So now not just the mobs, the birds can grief you? I would be so sad if my crops got eaten by a bird. Hot air balloons. So is it like going full steampunk? That will be cool, man. You gotta have a realistic impl implementation for fast travel somehow, you know? That's an explanation for it. Magic books and wands. That sounds more like Harry Potter than Skyrim. Oh shit! <sighs> oh man. I'm so lucky that wasn't deeper than it was. Ah, oh, I made my heart skip just the beat. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm gonna secure my way back to the top here. Need a crafting table. Gonna need more sticks. Let's get... how many ladders here? Probably... Huh. My heart's still like beating like crazy right now, man. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's chew through here.
Okay. Yeah, man. Humpty Dumpty had a hard fall. And he didn't make enough letters. Alright, that's good. This is kind of sketchy. But I got a way to get back down, back up and down now. I was just thinking, it was like, well, how am I gonna get down there without hurting myself? And then I just like jumped straight down into. Ah, <laughs> oh, bro! If that had been like three blocks deeper, I would have died. Like that would have been a bad way to end a hardcore challenge. That would have been anti-climatic. Yeah, that's right. The, it was just a test. To see how far I could go. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It was just a test. Now what's this way? I got a couple of directions I can explore right now. It looks like this cave might wrap around and go to this side of the, of the crevasse. This is the best part, isn't it? The resource gathering. Like, it, truth be told, I don't need to be grabbing all this iron and coal, at least not right away. My real focus, admittedly, should be on just, like, building my house at the moment. And getting material to build the house. So I think I have to I have to establish a checklist. Like yeah, I'm going to need coal and iron in the future. So it's going to be a good thing to have all of this. But really while I'm down here, the things I need to be keeping my eyes out for are uh andesite, uh diorite, and uh we're going to need some redstone and uh, lapis lazuli. Oh no, the monk is a Out loud. I don't want to fall for the trip. Yeah, but I'm gonna grab as much andesite as I can as long as it's here. It's gonna be really useful. I, I'd like to do a lot with andesite, especially for my uh, terraforming. I, I find that uh, it, it's a nice, it, it's a nice compliment for stone cliffs. But we're going to be using the polished andesite as well for paths. And I'm not entirely sure what my foundation is going to be yet. I always use some kind of stone foundation for my builds. Uh, cobblestone kind of seems a bit cheap. I want my build to be a bit better than that. So I'm thinking I'm going to smelt down all this cobblestone I get. We're going to use some stone. Uh, probably some kind of stone brick variation. And, uh, ooh, my pickaxe. Wasn't even paying attention. That's fine, I brought all my iron with me. That's not a bad chunk of andesite right there. Let's make two of these. Already have plenty, plenty of iron ore to re up my axe. I don't know if I'm going to be playing with granite. If I'm going to be using granite, I'm also going to need some clay bricks. There's a swamp nearby. I'll be able to pillage as much clay as I need from that. But if I'm really going to be playing around with clay, I'm going to need a villager hall. The best way to get uh, clay bricks in this game is definitely through villager trading. Get a stone mason by putting a stone cutter down for a villager. And uh, once uh, you zombify and cure him a couple of times, you should be able to get... Like, I think it's one emerald for ten clay bricks.
I have no idea. I'm not seeing a convert for me. Oh, diorite. Gonna need that too. I don't want to get more than, like, two stacks each of my diorite, granite, and nanosite, but I need a little bit to get started. So that I have, uh, like, some resources to play around with. Like, people who have seen my realm of El Tontorado, like, know that I like using diorite. It, it kind of complements, uh, quartz, uh, white wool. Ooh, iron. Better TTV? I do not. But I like using diorite because it kind of looks like fading or chipped uh, whitewash. I prefer, like, medieval setups. But I think... I, w I was planning on just making a medieval build, but it might be better for me this time around if I get out of my comfort zone and I try something more modern. Any recommendation for Skyrim? I think you should be a Khajiit and you should pickpocket everyone. You should get your pickpocketing up to level 100. And you should steal everyone's clothes. Steal everyone's clothes and just, like, drink skooma the entire time. Skooma brawl. A hundred? Like, that's not a bad start. But in the long game, 100's amateur hour. You gotta crank those numbers up. At least a thousand cheese. Collect over a thousand cheese wheels, and then drop them all in your player home. And try and crash the game with all the cheese wheels you steal. We're at 24 so far. With your Argonian build so far? Like, are you looking for quest recommendations? Thank you so much, Sour Patch. How's your signal? How's your drive, man? Everything all right? You doing? You comfy? Like I know you've been up since like 4 a.m. You managed to stay awake, dude. Under two hours away, perfect. You're gonna be parked just in time for the squats, I think. Oh, bro, I can only imagine. I'm surprised I'm not tired. I actually had to wake up a couple of hours early to get all my errands done early so for this stream. I'm, I'm surprisingly full of energy. That's a good thing. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need every last scrap. And dude, this andesite, granite, diorite vein just keeps going on and on forever. Like, all of this is what I've mined out so far, just chasing the vein. Intermittently, some iron, some coal. Let's get this sectioned out real quick. All right, so we're we're set on granite. We got the, the requisite two stacks. Uh, almost there for uh, diorite, but we need more andesite. I think andesite is actually what I'm going to be using the most. So I might need to get like three stacks, maybe four. Far, my prospects ain't looking too good. So 
So guys, what kind of builds do you want to see in my hardcore playthrough? I was just talking about it. I think that uh, it would be too easy for me to just like settle for a medieval style build. That's what I've been doing the most before. It would probably be better for me to get out of my comfort zone, maybe try modern or postmodern or some type of uh, recent variation. Or maybe I could go for like a feudal Japan style. Like feudal Japan, like there's some beautiful builds. One more. And we are at 25. 25 cards for the set. And remember guys, that's 35 including the 10 I'm giving Broken Mouse. I love the guy, but I'm almost grateful that he's not here because I promised him 20. <laughs> Sour Patch. Alright, that should do it for Die, right? I think it's time to get out of my hole. But yeah, that was a genuine question. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, what you want to see me build this time around. Hashtag make it 20. If I can get away with it, I'm keeping it at 35. Like, again, that's almost a thousand squats, guys. I'm so out of shape, bro. That might kill me. <laughs> a single tower that has everything in it. So, like, some kind of sky tower. Alright. Tower to heaven style. That's a submission. Nature Tech, Skongor, Mind Tricks. What kind of builds do you want to see me do in this new hardcore world? What kind of style would you like me to take inspiration from? One solid tube. <laughs> How could I make a solid? Like, I do. This is how I'm going to get it, I guess. And then I'm not going to exercise again for like two weeks because I won't be able to move my legs. Just a single tube, Tower to Heaven style. I don't think that I can make a single tube look great. And I was really trying to avoid the large scale build. Eventually, possibly, if I live long enough. That could be like an endgame project. I was trying to keep it smaller, more compact this time around, because, you know, El, El Tontarado... Well, you've seen it. It's enormous. I've been off an enormous project, bro. So, this is just as much like a chance for me to get away from all of that. And uh, to try a smaller scale here as it is anything else. But what type of architectural style would you most want to see me try? No building allowed? A nomad play of hardcore? <laughs> oh crap. Oh man. That... How would I even... Ah, oh, dude, for a hardcore run? That would be great if my only goal were to try and, to, like, beat the game. Hmm. It's definitely worth thinking about. I probably could? <laughs> a little bit. If my only goal were to try and beat the game, then that would be perfect. 
about this maybe doing like it doesn't matter if it's a nomad run or not like if i die i die so it's not like i have to run back to my base and grab all my shit right Um, I guess that I'm just I'm just down here for diamonds. No more building. Pure nature. That could be something. Grand tree. Gardenscape. Can live like the high elves. I'm liking these, I'm liking these. Oh, I need a shield. A ginormous Charis. That's an interesting one too, man. I like the nature idea. It's all landscaping. Oh yeah, there was gonna be a break, wasn't there? I got so absorbed. <laughs> I got absorbed mining, man. Tell you what, I kinda need that break right now. Let me find a good place to camp. I've been holding this in for a minute. <laughs> I have no idea how to do that. I've seen uh, Ganon trying it. Yeah, it has. Like, you get into it and you just kind of lose track of time. You sort of lose yourself on the flow of it. How the heck do I run an ad, though? Is it on Twitch? Beats the crap out of me, dude. Like, I'm on my Twitch channel page right now. I'm just not seeing anything. It's not under edit. Expand. Mod view. This is how we do it. Skip on. Hmm. Oh, really? That's it? Sure, I can do that. No? Damn. I'm gonna try it anyway. Is it doing anything? No, it's not doing anything. <laughs> I don't know what the, I don't know what the heck I'm doing, guys. So Uh he's lurking, but I don't know if he's still on. It says no match. No matches for me. Vlog method VIP vote. No, 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 it's not in here. Ah, commercial. Okay, it, it, it's a backslash commercial. All right, quick ad time. Thanks, guys. I'll be right back.
<laughs> That's right, I promise we're gonna put on this trailer. I can see the comparison. Why? What? December 13, 2018. So this is two years in the making. I love it, man. Wait, hold on a second. The extensive modding? Okay. I was just telling you you can mod it. Looks like they're also catering towards uh, creators. Now it's 5:30 p.m. Central Nature Tech, and it's 5:30 p.m. So, a lot of great things. A lot of great things that I notice in that trailer. For starters, I like how it's emphasizing creator tools. It's making it more accessible, like, these guys know that it's very popular to make Minecraft videos, so they're giving you editing tools to make it easier for you to make your own cinematic, like, your own cinematic videos, and that's gonna be really cool. Like, it seems like you can build block by block like you can in Minecraft. I'm hoping that's the case. If they give you pre-assembled structures, that's gonna take me out of the experience a bit. No, you're good, Nature Tech. You can go pre-register. Is there a link for that too, or was that in uh, was that in the YouTube trailer? Ooh. So this is it, right? This is a sign up for beta. It's still in beta after two years. Or has this been expanded upon? It's coming out in 2021. Very nice. What's up, Louie? What's up, dude? How are you, my guy? Coming in saying hi. I might check out some Hightail gameplay before it gets released. I'm down for that. I just want to finish off that coffee before I forget. It's not something I want to be drinking right before the squats. Give me at least an hour. I gotta stay hydrated for it too. I haven't been doing nothing to prepare for this. I ate a lot of carbs last night. Uh, I've been taking creatine for the last few days. 
so that my muscles absorb more water. That's gonna be important. That'll prevent me from cramping up. Zones. That makes sense. They're kind of layering it like an RPG. Yeah. A whiteout. What part of the country are you in, man? Like you were saying, Austin, Texas yesterday. Or are you getting up towards Oklahoma? Kansas? Is it going to be procedurally generated? Or are these like custom crafted zones? From a game like this, you would expect it to be custom crafted, right? Southern Colorado? Yeah. That's from all the smoke, dude. That's not, that's not snow. Nah, man. All the smoke from Denver is kind of drifting up from the pot shops. That's where the whiteout is. Fuck, what a place to be. Louie, you can't fit in every box, dude. Alright, it was great having you in the chat, Songor. Thank you so much for the follow today, man. You were great. Really appreciate you, dude. <laughs> it wouldn't stick to your wipers, it would just fog up your glass instead. That'd be even more annoying. Like, have to wipe it off with a paper towel on the inside every 15 minutes. It's like, fuck. God. What's going on? I got, I got a visitor. <laughs> yeah, I think I know what you need. Put your limit testing in the limit. Yeah, I got you, dude. See what he looks like. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't he look beautiful? He looks so pretty. He's the prettiest. Make him a, oh, making oh. fun of my baldness. No, I want to see what he looks like with Bang. See? It's like this closest to his natural hair color. Right, right. He's like kind of like gingerish. It's actually ginger. Look how pretty he is. I see this imagine. expression on my face. <laughs> this is the look of a defeated He's man. So cute. It's gonna happen to all of you someday. So <laughs> Thanks, babes. No problem, babes. I had hair once upon a time. I should send you pictures of him with hair. Legend has it, I still do have hair. Just a really fucked up hairline. <laughs> no, I'm not going back to this. I went through that phase in high school. Never again. Never again, man. What's taking so long to connect to the realm? Hold on, I'm gonna cancel out retry. <laughs> oh, dude, I tried to log into the realm instead. Dang. That's what was going on. I was like, why is this taking so long? It's just... I'm, I'm, I'm not in the right mode. Okay, here we go. That was some foolishness on my part. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just getting on business as usual, you know? Oh, you parking soon? Alright, nice man, you'll get to spend more time with me, yay! Oh, hello. Goodbye. I did. I did. Felt familiar. Felt right. I was at home. Man, I've 
done a minimal amount of grinding here and I'm already lost. Need new tool. I'm gonna have to dip pretty soon. I'm gonna have to get back up. Throw a few more things in the, uh, like throw a few more things in the furnace. I'm running I'm going through my iron pickaxes so quickly. It's kind of crazy. Like, I've gotten spoiled. Like, if I want an Unbreaking 3 Diamond Pickaxe, like, I got a dude down in my trading hall who sells them to me for a single emerald each. And, you know, Efficiency 5, like, Mending, Fortune, I got all of that, dude, and I'm spoiled. Like, actually having to work <laughs> with limited resources instead of something that's basically infinitely replenishable. Like, this is new foreign territory for me, boys. Not used to this. Some, this is some rugged cave living. Gonna give me a newfound appreciation. Yeah, I need more andesite. Let's get it. I'm thinking, what? Am I at elevation wise? Only 37, really. Okay. So I haven't gone too deep yet. I could staircase down and uh, like just make a mine shaft, but that'd be kind of boring. And I kind of want to explore a bit more. It's been a long time since I've been caving, man. Like since caving, it's been necessary. That's one of the cool things about going into a new world for the first time. It's like suddenly all the survival features that uh, like have become redundant are like important and you need to like actually get out, explore, like kill some mobs, find some more, like do it the old fashioned way. Like I'm so used to everything being automated. Like I have an iron golem farm, I have the trading hall. And uh, like I have enough diamonds to last me basically forever at this point. So I haven't had to go down and mine anymore, like, I have so much wood I can just make up charcoal if I need to, some uh, furnace fuel, and I have stacks upon stacks of coal ore. So like, just getting down here, getting my hands dirty, it's, it's refreshing, dude. Feels good. Okay, let's see, I need like, ten more, I think it is, or four stacks. Oh, opening up another area above me. Cool. Cool. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give if, I, if I break it, <laughs> if I break it, then I'm gonna have 60, 65. Okay, here we go. All right, so we have the nature submission from Nature Tech so far for building styles. And, like, Nomad, that might be a separate challenge. I think I can make that into a single video for a separate challenge. And it does sound interesting, it sounds like some I want to try. But for this run, I was thinking I would try and do compact builds. I, I would keep things small scale and, and efficient. And I would just, like, make myself get out there and explore and survive and uh, try and get as much loot as I possibly can. Zao V, thank you so much for the bit, dude. How are you doing today? So whatever kind of building styles you want to see me try out for this new playthrough, let me know down in the comments. All nature sounds really fun. I could probably, I could make an area that's all nature. And another bit! Thank you so much, dude. Every little bit counts, man. Whew, got distracted. I'm so glad they make those hissing noises. I would have died otherwise. Not this time. Okay. 
Little bit by little bit, we're getting better, guys. Need just a few more torches. Offhand them. We're gonna keep going. And thank you for the second bit. I don't know if I thanked you for that one already, man. Like elves. Alright, so we go for some tree homes. I'm digging it. Then I'll save up all my materials for terraforming. Oh, so I just take the natural, like, uh, Minecraft generated trees. Bro, oh, those are kind of small trees. Yeah, we're gonna go treehouse style. Then we should have them be pretty big, right? Want to live in the boughs of these things. Yeah, or terraform the landscape. Make custom gardens, that type of thing. Yeah, I like it. Like, it's just outside of my niche is more medieval. Like, I've done terraforming in the past, you guys have seen it. But I haven't done a lot so far as, like, building whole trees or, like, creating gardenscapes. I, I was more into landscaping. So this is related to what I was doing, and uh, it'll help and it'll emphasize what I've been doing in the past. But it's just enough out of my comfort zone that I'm not doing, like, the same thing. It's, it's gonna be good. I like these suggestions. Then we're gonna go tree elf style this time, bro. I'm getting kind of cold. I'm shivering a bit. An underwater palace. Yeah, if I get a heart of the sea. I just have to work around it. Ooh. Okay, so no landscaping, no true terraforming, just tree building and tree house building. So this is going to be location, location, location. I want your sword, dude. Give me that. No? No sword? No sword for me. Oh, dude, I found a spawner. Awesome. Awesome, 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 dude. We got our first XP grinder. This is going to be a great place to dig up from. Got a bucket and a saddle. Oh, and diamond armor with cat. Oh, we're styling, guys. Best disc in the game right here. We're gonna be jamming. Some string, that's gonna help with the, with the, the gardening. Put our die right in here. We only need the full stacks, really. Not enough cobblestone in this run. But we're gonna be able to find more cobblestone. Beetroot seeds? Ah, uh, you know, I guess. Don't really need too much of that. Beetroots are like the worst plant in the game. <laughs> when you hit a biome like a mountain and have to build trees up the mountain. Yeah, I came across a mountain biome a while back, actually. These are gonna have to be some big trees. Hold on a second. Sleeves are getting rolled down. It's getting really cold in here. Like, ugh, gotta stretch. Let's get the blood going. 
try and warm up. Ugh, we got this. That makes me want some spicy noodles, dude. Some Sam Yangs. That'd fire me up. But that would be so nasty, just like belching that up as I'm doing the squats. Oh shit, I have some chili meat and chicken. Alright, I'm gonna make chili tonight. That's the end of that. Settled it in my mind. Alright, so I'm gonna make this area right here my little underground base. This area is gonna become real important to us, guys. I'm gonna turn this into my first XP, gr XP grinder. So I'm gonna be spending a bit of time here, at least until we get to the end and we can make the Enderman grinder. The Enderman grinder is gonna be kinda tricky, just because there are so many ways that I can die while doing it. But it'll be so worth it. You're a true pal, bro. Yep, we're still at 25 cards. But Beanie has been redeemed. That means I have to go grab myself one. I'm gonna let my furnace go and AFK while I go grab my beanie. This is probably why I'm so damn cold, you're right. <laughs> Dude, this would be... Oh my god, if these guys spawn right now and kill me, I'm gonna be so bummed. It's gonna be real sad boy hours right here, but I'm gonna risk it. Be right back. It might as well. As long as I gotta leave the screen for a bit. We'll run another one of those. Beanie was found. Left it on the dryer. I was doing my laundry. I'm back and I'm alive. And I left my pickaxe out there. <laughs> like I left all my iron out there and I don't have a pickaxe. I can't mine my way out. <laughs> so we're going to have a little bit of this action now. How's your day going, guys? This has been mine. <laughs> Almost done. <sighs> Appreciate you, Nature Tech. You sacrificed another valuable card so I could go get my beanie. <laughs> Cannon coming in. We're up to 26. That is 26 cards. Thank you, Sour Patch. Still a little cold, but I know I'm gonna warm up in an hour, so. <laughs> Might be better if I run cold for a bit, you know? Okay. Now from here, I'm gonna mine up. I have no idea where my house is in relation to this, but I guess I'm just gonna improvise. Let me grab this iron. And as soon as I got all of that, I'm gonna load up the furnace. 
get that running down here. I'm gonna make my way back up to the bed. And then we're gonna build our first tree. <laughs> oh man. You know what? Just because. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. We'll we'll call that a card. I I I mean I'm assuming that you you had me get my beanie because I said I was cold. And you cared, bro. You cared for me. And even if you want to see me suffer just a little bit more, you wanna make sure I'm staying warm while I'm doing it. I respect you, bro. Thank you. Two hundred more points and you'll get your card. Always got to make your stair shafts four blocks high. None of that head bumping action. And then I dig into a lake and I drown. Or a creeper jumps into my hole and kerplodes me. Oh! What are you looking at? And that was my last torch. And we're in the field. My house is right up on this plateau right here. This is brilliant. I hardly moved at all. This is so good, dude. That zombie grinder is like 50 blocks away from my home station. I'm gonna have to come up with some kind of organic pen. Like wooden fence posts, that's just not gonna cut it this time. I'm gonna need something a little more um, natural, if you will. And since we've established we're gonna be going with the treehouse theme, these rocks gotta go. The house that I had in mind no longer matters. I'm gonna need to find a place all my stone and material. So I think how we're gonna do this, guys, is I'm gonna keep all my stone, all of my building blocks, uh, possibly underground for now until I have uh, a real house location. But I can't imagine myself pushing the tree up to this uh, hill right here. So. I'll put my first real storage chest right here. We'll just lay out all of our stuff nicely. Can you see me like visibly shaking right now? <laughs> like what the fuck? I feel so cold. I'm gonna have to get some diamonds. For the super smooth cat disc. Actually, probably gonna have to move this chest when I start building here. So the important blocks for this tree, we're gonna start with oak. Dark oak, we're gonna need one or two of these. So we'll just pick a rando here, we'll lob it down. We're gonna grab ourselves some dark oak. We're gonna put that in intermittently. Make a root system. Now that's an interesting idea. So these would have to be giant, giant, giant trees. Now I don't think that mobs can spawn on leaf blocks. I'm trying to like go through a, a checklist in my head right now so that I, I don't 
get uh, killed by something unexpected. Oh, dude, you're really putting your thoughts into this. Yeah. I'm loving these ideas. Keep them coming, man. Underground root system, connect the caves. Underground streams. Like maybe a giant lake where the roots dip into. But there's this big river right here. I'm surrounded by a small lake right here. We have a lot of natural water. I'll be able to use these mushrooms. Having these mushroom blocks is gonna be nice. In that pond? Just rise it out from the pond? Dude, I can only imagine, man. <laughs> I'm kinda hungry, too. <laughs> All I've had for breakfast is a banana and some nuts. Mm. I'm really not liking this cliff face here. Let's take a look at this. Oh, risk some damage there, but whatever. Well, I might be able to do some with that. Have like a smaller tree growing on top of this, probably. These sandy pits here. plan boys we got a location this is gonna be the big tree but I'm gonna need a starter house the big tree I got a feeling that's gonna take me a bit we're talking a thousand blocks or more of wood this is gonna take a lot of grinding for that thing so I got to think of a starter house something that I can put up in like the next hour or so, but probably building is going to be for the next episode. This is just resource gathering today. And I don't want to be chopping down too many trees in my local area, actually. I want there to be some natural foliage surrounding us. So hold up, I need to grab some iron. Hopefully it's gonna stop raining, or it'll get dark and I can sleep this through. A normal size chars? I would have to do that with armor stands, but yeah. Pet chars? We could get a pet chars, hell yeah. Oh, I already have iron. Dope. We'll get this much wood. You're coming with me. It doesn't matter if I die or not. You know? It's hardcore, so if I die, I'm dead. I don't have to worry about respawning. So the bed's coming with me. I have plenty of beef still. This is great. Oh, perfect spruce. I needed this. Let's go grab some of that spruce blocks. And we'll be able to use a pod saw too. Like I'm I'm going to need this for some decorative blocks. Maybe a little landscaping, just just a bit of landscaping. <laughs> like a tiny bit of landscaping. Some paths, maybe? At least let me make some pr pretty paths. Yeah, it's over in that direction with the hill. Okay, I just need to remember. You gonna play some Minecraft mind tricks? 
Hell yeah, dude. What you gonna be working on, buddy? Six trees in the circle with walls between would fit the motive. It would. It definitely would. It's a, this would be great if I had some jungle saplings. If I could grow some extra tall jungle saplings, that would be perfect. Hold on a second. I just thought of something. I'm gonna need leaf blocks, man. A lot of them. I'm gonna need a lot of leaf blocks. At least as many as this thing can make. Possibly more than this. To get stuff to kill that damn dragon. <laughs> I'm gonna be saving the Ender Dragon for a little bit later in this playthrough. It's not my goal to win, that's obviously something I'm going to have to do. But I'm going to let that happen naturally. I'm not going to be actively chasing ender pearls and shit like that. And I want to make sure I have a good set of armor and then I'm damn ready when I go into the nether. I'm going to need some fire resistance potions for that. I'm going to need magic resistance and fault, and I'm going to need some feather falling, some slow falling for when I fight the uh, end dragon. I'm, I'm gonna need to be kitted up, dude. I'm not going in. I'm not going into this fight unequipped, unarmed. <clears throat> I need to have all my ducks in a row. I have to have like the best bow I can find, and I'm gonna need a few beds. We're going to be killing the Ender Dragon with beds. We're going to sleep him to death. Gotcha, Sour Patch. take every leaf block. I need some saplings, too. Oh. about terraforming too. I'm gonna need these big ferns. <clears throat> I don't think I can actually make big ferns myself. I'm gonna need silk touch for that, but having these little ferns is gonna be nice. Awesome. We have some red berries. So if we find those foxes again, we're gonna have a pet fox. I'm gonna have to kill a few more skeletons because I want to train those dogaloos. We need some pupperinos. Some goodest boys. 
Gonna need a squad of those boys. too much for all that work. Just over a stack. <clears throat> we can do better than this, right? We can do better for this. Yep, 543. But you're thinking Eastern. I'm going to 530 Central. 530 Central, after a 510 minute break, I'm going to be doing Tyson Squats one card for every 500 points that you submitted. We're at 25 cards. 35 including the ones from Broken Mouse. Why not? Get some black ink too. Didn't need it. Just wanted it. Impulse killed the squid. No rhyme or reason. I'm just a murder hobo. One hundred and ten. That's a start. I bet in the next two hours you'll be able to get two more cards. Well, in the next hour you'll be able to get two more cards. Because you get 12 per 5 minutes, right? No, you get 10 per 5 minutes. I think. Yeah, you'll have enough. You'll have enough for at least one more card. And bear in mind, guys, at this stage, each new card that you submit makes me do another 70 plus squats that that's how far we've gone along into this for every new card that you submit i have to do at least 70 72 74 more squats this is not going to be pretty might see a grown man cry today. Tears, a sweet, sweet victory. After I annihilate all 36 cards and then go to the doctors to have them stitch back together my quads. Like, who needs legs anyway, man? We have Segways, we have Huffy sco scooters at Walmart. Snappers. We found some bees. Where's your hive at, little guy? Yeah. We absolutely do. Look at that! We found lava. Now we won't have to worry about obsidian. We have a ticket to the end. We have a ticket to the nether. No honey in this thing at the moment. But we have our own naturally occurring beehive right here. I'm gonna hook these dudes up. Welcome back, Sour Patch. We want our little bee bros to get plenty of honey. Got to put the flowers down next to the bee. <laughs> Dude, I got goldfish brain. 
This is how it works. I remember, like, I think of stuff, I forget stuff, then I remember stuff, I go back and do the thing. I can never do it seamlessly, bro. There's always something I'm gonna let. I'm, there's always something I'll miss. That's my word guaranteed. We want our little bee bros to make as much honey as possible, so this is what we're doing for our guys. Not a whole lot of biodiversity here. So we'll give them a lilac too. Because we're not animals. We care we care for the bees. Save the bees, bro. Hashtag save the bees. We're gonna give them some dandelions. What's that? Are you riding the Charis? Do you have a Charis led sleigh? That would be dope. If you could make yourself a sleigh and have it pulled by Chorus in mind in Skyrim, like a man can dream. Okay, so they have some dandelions, they have some poppies, they have a lilac. These bees should be happy as mofos. Oh dude, I totally left my bed somewhere. My bed is back over at the spruce trees. And it's getting dark, I gotta hurry. Oh, Wolvaloo! <laughs> Man, I discovered that as soon as I got over in Cumber the first time. Sometimes it's all you got. Shenanigan. <laughs> Lurking and putting in cards. We're at 27. 27 whole ass cards now. No. Not at all, buddy. Keep them coming. My pain is your gain. You're not the only one who gets to work hard around here. I'ma show y'all the meaning of some of the time. Just you wait. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for trying, Sour Patch. That's something he decided to do on his own. You guys don't have to do that if you don't want to. I will say, every little bit counts. But I'll also say that, hey man, I'm just doing this for fun. So if you think I'm worth it, then please. But, like, otherwise, save your money, guys. Times are tough out there. It's hard on the streets for a pimp. Like a, like a fucking McDouble is a is a buck thirty now. A foot long at Subway is like seven fifty. That's ridiculous. All right, made it back home, and we got some new blocks to add to the chest. A bad assortment so far. Not bad at all. And we even have some spruce saplings. Right? Like, Arby stepped their game up. They just keep coming in for the common man. Comrade Arby. Comrade Arby's. Comrade Arby's, guys. Ink sack, we're gonna throw that right there. You're making me jealous, dude. Like, I want some. 
like something hot and spicy, that would be great. Uh, right? Holy shit. And only 47 cents. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, I don't really have enough to start building anything substantial. So. We have a lot of leaf blocks. And we have some spruce logs. But more importantly, we have spruce saplings. So I think the best way to do this here, I'm going to build my first tree. And it's going to be a little low maintenance, so it's going to be low budget. I'm going to have to turn back the landscape. Yeah, of course, dude, we're going to watch it. Oops, I forgot this. The exclamation mark. For everybody else that's just tuning in, Sour Patch Fur just got in a stream in a couple of weeks ago. He's super chill, a lot of fun to hang out with, loves talking to you, and has just gotten a host of video games Doom, Dead Space. I think you also have uh, Dark Souls, right? But check him out if you haven't checked him out already. Need 20 more. Almost there. Just give me like three nices. Here's a card. <laughs> ah, fuck. 38. We're at 28. Why? gather up some grass in the meantime. I have to start getting some wheat seeds. Gonna need wheat for our cows, for our sheep. Some seeds for our chickens. Right now we're just letting them la roam all casual like. Oh, that sucks. And I don't know if I actually want the tree to be here. It'd be better if it were, like, right here. I'm very nitpicky about my tree positioning. I know I just used some bone meal on that. I'm gonna have to wait till dark, and I'm gonna have to kill some uh, skeletons. No getting around it. Like, I could get, like, a composter. Left for dead. If I'm able to make my way back down to the basement, I would love to play some Left Dead for, with you tonight. Unless you have other plans. <clears throat> Alright. Fuck yeah, let's do it, dude. Now, I hate to do this again, but I've been drinking a lot of water preparing for this. I'm kind of squirming in my seat a bit. Just like... I can feel the vapor getting into my eyes. So, the last time before 5.30 comes around. <laughs> I gotta use it, dude. I gotta fill up my water cup. I gotta stay hydrated. And I got climbs and squirming in my chair. I'm in the hole of security. And I'm gonna, for the last time, run the third commercial of this three-hour video. Enjoy, guys. Security hole!
Okay. Oh. All these liquids. What do you call a green doctor? The Grinch. <laughs> And what's going on, Nature Tech? What happened to you, buddy? Are you feeling this mojo? Okay, I gotta find a source for bone meal. All right, I I need light. I need the bone meal, or I'm gonna have a hard time getting all the trees, getting all the leaf blocks that I need. So there's nothing else for it. The sun has started to dip. It's gonna be dark soon. I'm gonna light up this area here. And this is gonna be my security area. This is going to be where I retreat back to, just in case things go south. Hello, horsey. No, I'm sorry, you're fucked. I don't know how you got down there, but it's your fault. You're stuck down there, horsey. GG. I'm going to have to go out there. I'm going to have to do some killing. I'm going to have to grind up some mob drops. There's nothing else for it, dude. What was I trying to do? What was nature trying to do? He was doing some Argonian style stuff. He was just morphing. Xeno like. Killing populaces. Stealing things from the countryside, getting caught. Oh, no, you're good. What's good? Like, the way to do a shout out is. You type exclamation point, S-O, space, name of user you want to shout out. Alright. So I have some iron. Let's make some wood real quick. I'm going to need a shield. Yep. Shield acquired. Let's go get some of my food. Oh, it's starting to get dark out, guys. Oh, my food was in this chest over here. I'll creep that in mind. You got it, bro. We'll get some mudding for now. Oh, it's starting to get dark out. It really wasn't a good idea for me to leave my bed unlit. At a certain point, I'm gonna have to bail. Just to make sure that I don't get totally mobbed when I try and go back and sleep. This is it, guys. This is the real deal. We're gonna go hard here. We're gonna kill well or die gloriously. There is no in-between. I really hope that I kill well. I don't want to die. I just started this playthrough today, man. I don't want to die, mama. I'm too young to die. <laughs> Thanks for that, Sour Patch. That is right at the end of the 25-minute period. At the end. 
5.30 p.m. rolls around, that is it. No more cards submitted. We're gonna get rolling into it. But without further ado, let's get to it. Creepers, we're gonna need some gunpowder too. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, oh no. No more cards. What a, what a shame. <laughs> Love you guys. No, fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Unless I manage to do the whole set and nothing bad happens. I have a feeling that I'm going to be feeling this into like Saturday, Sunday. Like, I'm still going to be bitching about my legs when we do our community game day. Sorry, bro. 5.30 is the cutoff point. No late submissions. And there it was, his extra 200 points. So he's tallied up to a 29th card. We're at card 29. Oh, shit, yeah. She might have some points she wants to spend. Message her on Discord. Make sure she gets in here. She's going to be upset if she doesn't get those in. She's also going to be my quote-unquote coach for the night. Yeah, dude, we're at 39 total so far. That is really bad for me. Great for you guys. So, if I can't do the whole set, how do you want me to settle this? Do you want me to rest and then keep going? Or is it a one and done time deal? What would you like to see happen if I fail the set? Guys, we have to talk about this. It's a realistic outcome. What do you expect to see happen if I fail to meet the whole set, guys? Five sit-ups per card I couldn't do? That sounds like an easy cop-out. No! Mr. Moo Moo! <laughs> Setups I can actually do fairly easily. But it would hurt like hell because my quads would be on fire. So I I wouldn't be able to cheat as much. I wouldn't be able to really cheat it. So that's Sour Patch for a submission. Rest of chat, what are your thoughts? What should be the uh, what should be the punishment if I fail the set? What do you want to see me do instead? Full of warheads. I don't have any hope. Like I would do that for free. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm kind of crazy, and I don't have any warheads. I'm sorry. I love warheads, dude. They're great. These skeletons are really a nightmare at the beginning of the game. Drink vinegar. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, 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 oh nasty. And, and yeah, again, an, a little bit, actually. My pain is your gain. I'm gonna have to do some terraforming to patch up these holes, Sour Patch. Okay, so no vinegar. No vinegar. I was looking for any excuse to get out of that one. <laughs> Thank you, Sour Patch.
got you. A little bit here and there is fine. Like, no massive cliff sites or anything like that. I gotta go after more of these skeletons. These are the real goals. Hopefully one of them will give up his bow. No? That's fine. I can make one eventually. I have enough string. Oh shit! Oh no! You arrived just in time. Yes. What is it? Is it for? How much did you get? How much did you get? What? How much did you get? How much did you? How much did you need? No, I just died in my hardcore world. So maybe I'm not hardcore ready yet. Why did you slap me? No, go away. Get out of here. Oh. Now I just have to stare blankly at my shame for 15 minutes. All right. What the chat wants is if I fail my set, you get to slap the shit out of me once. It's what the chat demands. So how was your day, guys? <laughs> Yeah, she, like, if I'm masochistic, she's she's sadistic, bro. My pain will absolutely be her gain. Maybe. Look at this baby. She she don't care. We were t talking about brutalizing me, and she's like, "Look at this pretty cat." I'm not gonna brutalize you. <laughs> Look at this pretty cat. Fuck. Dude, not like this. Like this is the this is like the beginning of my Skyrim playthrough. Yeah. In a separate <sighs> I'm gonna be starting it. I'm this portion of the stream ends at 5.30. And the card set begins after a 5-10 minute break. And I'm gonna be trying the hardcore server again. Learned some I've learned some some lessons. I'm gonna stick with the tree thing because that sounds really interesting. But that really blew, dude. I thought I was better than that, and I wasn't. Ah, oh, skeletons, man. This just makes me sad. I don't know what to do. I'm lost. I got nothing. What should I do now? Like. Where do I go now? Dude, I, I know we got some lurkers in here. Just piling up points, trying to see if they can get extra cards in. Uh, like, should I hang on a realm? Like, what? What's what? What should I do now? I don't want to just start another hardcore server when I'm going to have to quit it in like 10 minutes. <sighs> oh, dude, that would be insane. Yeah, I think so. I don't see any reason why not. Don't forget to submit your cards, Black Kitty. Yeah, you have to get, like, aren't you going to hop onto Twitch and submit your cards? Yes. I will. If 
by channel points, right? By channel points. Okay. She's way too excited. Nope. Please feed him. Uh. Oh hell no. Oh hell no, man. Hell to the no no to the no no no. Oh hell to the no. Hell to the no no. To the no no no, I say hell to the no, to the no no no, hell to the no, hell to the no no, to the no no no. That was a great song. Like seriously, if you just YouTube that, you'll find it. I don't think that's what the song is, but like, that's basically the gist of it. Alright, I'm gonna start up the stables. Ah, oh, you're good, Nature Tech. I died too. I died, I'm back in the realm. It was to a skeleton. I went out like a noob. Pog champ. Gonna build a stable now! <laughs> Alright, it can't be its own fortified position, so this thing is gonna be relatively long. This is gonna be their pasture area right here. This is where all the pretty ponies are gonna be gathering. And let's just sketch out a rough shape for this thing. Cause I didn't want to start up a new hardcore world. Like when we only have like 10 minutes left, something like that. Uh, we're gonna have the stables right out front here. It's going to be one of the most necessary commodities. The miller can go around back. I have an idea for that. He tried. He failed. I am the one who gives the points around here. So, this is just rough and an outline. It's not even necessarily going to have a cobblestone foundation. But it's going to be something like this. Yeah? It's going to be... let's see... Seven. That should do it. That's about... Four by five is twenty. And this area is about fourteen. Because he knows you too want to see me suffer. You're all out to get me. This realm is almost a year old now. I've had the single player, like, the realm itself is actually only about seven months at this point is when I actually purchased the realm, but this uh, was an extension of a single player map that I had made for myself. I think I want it to be a bit shorter on this side, actually. And we lost some viewers now that I, I died. I died, and the realm, the hardcore run is over, and now the viewers are dead. Uh, I just had to find something to do to occupy the time. Oh well. It's more for the lols than anything else. But, yeah, he knows that you too want to watch me suffer. All pain, no brain. Maybe some gains. Now, I actually want it to be a, like, not a perfect, like, perfectly symmetrical thing, so it's gonna be a bit fatter, actually. There's gonna be some symmetry involved. And we're gonna be using... Yep, we're at 39. And if Black Katie fails to meet the deadline, then she fails, and I'm spared. He's just trying to talk to you, bro.
He's just letting you know. He's he's in for the good fight. But yeah, we use this two four two method right here. This should give us some nice angles. Thank you, Sour Patch. Now it's commit for sure. There is nothing I can do, my friend. I am screwed. I am screwed is what's going to happen here. I am going to get peg champed. This is peg champ right here. You put in money towards my peg champ? Yes? kind of a weird looking corner but let's take an arrow of that I'm just trying to hash out a good shape for now this could stand to be pushed out more right that's what I'm thinking yeah this could definitely stand to be pushed out just a bit more but this could work for now So the way we're going to have this is that each one of these little 4x4 four four sections, right, it's going to be its own stall. So it's going to have like a somewhat of an... Yeah. It's just you guys, everybody left after I died. You're the real loyal ones. You're the real MVPs. These cobblestone pieces right here are going to be symbolizing where those port structures are for our gates. It's basically going to be shaped like this, right? This one we're going to just have to fudge it a bit, make it work. I can. I just, I've actually tried to customize the images for the channel points, but to all the pictures that I've downloaded, I haven't been able to, to access. There's a like, it allows me to access uh, certain uh, images and clips, but not others. And I'm not sure why that is. I'm happy to have you all here. I imagine people are gonna come in around 5.30. Stones. I could see that one. Especially, you know, green stone and all that. I just called it rocks because I found it funnier. But if you guys thought, like stones better. Oh shit, here they come. Oh no, she made it. <laughs> oh fuck no. Hopefully that's the only card she has. Just keeping my fingers crossed. So this is going to be the stable portion right here. And this is going to be our entrance. I'm going to symbolize that by jutting out the corners right here. Giving that a little bit of an extension inside. I'm going to have it more like this actually. Double door isn't go quite gonna cut it. it. Needs to be three high. Nice. That's a pretty rock. That's a pretty rock, Nature Tech. Oh, fuck, no. Not possibly. Like, almost definitely. <laughs> yep, only five minutes left, unless I get like a hundred people from out of nowhere. 
Nah, not even then, because followers only get 300. Subs get an extra 500. Hint, hint. <laughs> nah, I'm just, jo I'm just joshing you guys. The TOS. What's the TOS? Uh, maybe? Like, unless this video goes viral or something, I don't think anyone's gonna give a shit. And it's female on male, so that's kinda hard to stick to. You know? But this is gonna be the general outline for our stables! We finally have an image for it. Finally have an idea of where this beast is going to be. There's some fine grazing pastures here. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? We're gonna be fine. It'll be totally fine. I mean, you guys are gonna be fine. You're gonna be properly entertained. I am fucked. I am beyond fucked. I'm so screwed, it's kinda scary. But you guys are all gonna be just fine. Don't worry about it. And like I said, I didn't want this to be cobblestone. I'm gonna have to take some inspiration. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to check out a few builds online. I'm gonna have to look at some stables, see how those things are properly built before I really choose what textures I want. But the shape is here, and I like it. I'm gonna have this section, I think, kind of stacked up. This is gonna be its own like little house area. Uh, this is where the stable master is going to live. It's going to be like a double storied floor. Maybe a conical tower. Like, we could actually, with gravel now, kind of give like a conical shape to this beast right here. And if we go kind of like this, yeah? We're just adding shapes to it maybe mesh this in a little bit more. So instead of it like that, kind of have it like so. This gives us uh, more of a roundness to it. little like out tower right here just attached to the side we're just adding shapes we're just adding shapes for now and this is really what's gonna let the build take its true form this is going to be really cool I'm looking forward to it yeah now that you mentioned I haven't taken a good look at it but I like it too especially like the mossy cobblestone uh, border that I have for the webcam that's aesthetic Sheet for feed shed. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Maybe if we had the foundation for the shed right here. Let's jut it out a little bit. Kind of like an overhang. Oh, it's 529. Right now, boys and girls, spend them if you got them. It's your last chance. It's your last minute. No stragglers. If you're late, you're late. That's it. Are we locked in at 40? Are we going to be locked in at 40? Spend them if you got them. It's the last minute. It's the last minute, mind tricks. If you have them, spend them now. It's your only chance. Time! 5.30. I'm sorry, but that's it. It's game over, guys. We're locked in at 40 cards. 40 cards to kill my quads. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. And for some reason... Oh my god. I built a dick. Or this is a gun. This looks more like a gun. My internet is just slow. You're blaming me. What's one more card? Why the fuck not? 41. That's it. It's over. I'm disabling this thing now. 
Yeah, it does. It has like a 20 second delay. He's right about that. Managing rewards. And we are deleting this one. It's over. Mark all 30 as complete. Alrighty, guys. I'm scared. <laughs> We're finally at the moment you've been waiting for and I've been dreading. It is squat time. Give me about five minutes. I need to set things up. I need to stretch. I need to hydrate. I need, need, need to drain the lizard. Set up the cams. Let's do that right now. Now, if I have the camera like this, can you still see me? Like, can you still hear me? Gotta readjust, lower this a little bit so you don't see the ugliness. How's that? Because my ceiling is kind of fucked up, we'll just ignore that. Yeah, just ignore that fucked up ceiling, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. Can you hear me right now, guys? Okay, you can see the gym and hear me. Good, 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 and good. All right. Thank you, that's wallpaper. Put that up when I was like 15 with a friend. All right, I gotta make the adjustments, guys. Hang tight. It's commercial time. And then afterwards, it's my demise. And now, just a heads up. I won't be able to see the chat. Like, I tried to think about a way to do it, and I can't. So, Black Kitty 2 is going to be relaying... Everything you say to me. And after a fashion, I probably won't even be able to concentrate on what it is you guys are trying to tell me. So I'm sorry about that. This is the best arrangement I can make. I did put some time and thought into it. The microphone is going to be about 10, 15 feet away from uh, where I'm going to be uh, doing my thing. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I said it'd be about five minutes. I meant it. Just give me a couple more minutes here. Set up my tunes. I'm totally fucked, guys. It's oh boy. Uh. 
Gotta put in my tunes. I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm gonna say some words, and if you can understand them, I'm gonna come back and check the screen in like 30 seconds. Like, the microphone is like 15 feet in that direction. Let's gotta pick up some tunes. Take me to my happy place. Some Kali Buds. Because, of course, I'm gonna play Kali Buds. I don't actually have a real deck of cards. <laughs> it's that I'm going to be using these magic item cards, Dungeons and Dragons. There's like 200 of the things in here, and uh, they're of roughly the same shape and uh, material as a playing card. So these will do just fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear me? Good stuff, guys. I can tell you can hear me because you called me a nerd. Well, you're right. I am a nerd. <laughs> so I'm going to try and just spare my legs here. Be as kind to of myself as possible while I'm lying these out. They got the 41 cards, dude. Have you successfully found any royalty free stone music? No, not yet. Just how they put the sound like God in that regard. Yeah. Okay. Can't exactly lie these out in a row. So we're going to be going with four rows of ten plus an extra. And you can get bits now? Yeah. Oh, you're affiliated. Awesome. Yeah, man. I didn't realize that. That's Rogue Assassin in the background. Don't use my real name. Huh? Don't use my real name. Okay, fine. <laughs> Scrooge McCuckface. <laughs> And then the, the big one, number 41, the card that I have no faith in myself getting to is going to the back right here. No, I'm good. You don't need to come over here. <laughs> I'm going to be fucking with my chat. <laughs> Just need to grab one more thing. And then I'll be all good to go. see what the hell you typed. <laughs> oh, I just told him. You're, you're doing a giveaway, did you know that? I do uh, no? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Run away. Uh, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, how it turns penis, Baba Booey. Okay. Enough delaying. Enough fucking around. The music's on. I'm Dr. Greenstone. This is the Tyson Squat Challenge. My viewers came through and they've donated enough chips to make me do 41 cards. And this is going to be my life for probably like the next half hour or longer. I came prepared. Represent. Ah, uh, boy.
I'm already messing up, guys. It already hurts. The first five go by real quick. The next five are where the like you can feel it starting to set in. It's like especially if you're going cold like me. This is where your body is like, wait, hold the fuck up! What are you doing, man? Chill, hold up, my guy. You gotta try and keep him directly in front of you. Otherwise, you start leaning a bit. You twist your torso. It's not good, bro. Woo! I can tell I should have stretched before this. I think keeping a consistent pace is going to be the real challenge. I might actually be going too fast. Ten. Ooh. Yeah, that feels fresh. It's not until I step to the side that I can actually feel the burn. I'm in a kind of a comfortable Sir, groove right now on car 12. I found a good pace. I was going a bit too fast at the beginning. 
but where I can really tell that my quads are hurting for certain isn't when I squat. It's when I move to the side. Uh, that lateral flexion is screwing with me. The real challenge for the squatting down is picking the cards back up. Card 13. Setting them down isn't as difficult. I can kind of feed them to myself with the left hand, but picking them up individually, one by one, every time I squat, requires more dexterity than that. So sometimes I fumble, I miss a card, and I gotta spend some extra time lower, and that really taxes the legs. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm starting to sweat a bit. It's dripping off me now. Whew. It's gathering on the cards and making them stick together. So sometimes, if you see me repeat a squat, it's because that happened. <sighs> 14, oh, repositioning. Ooh. That thing happened, but the sidestepping, like I described, I'm trying to get my squat a bit more form perfect here as I go. Because leaning forward, it doesn't hurt as much for cards 1 through 10. But as we get up into the higher cards, it's really going to start taxing my lower spine. no idea how long I spent squatting. I'm like into my third song now. Each one of these songs is like four minutes long. That's going to be my only indication of what the passage of time is like while I'm doing these squats. Time is frankly irrelevant right now. It's whether I get it done or not. Right? Oh. Uh, setting the cards down is like my break. It's my reprieve. The real effort comes picking them back up. Because again, they're sticking together. It takes just that fraction of a second longer keeping me in the squat position for longer than I need to be. And that's what's really gonna kill me. For hypertrophy, just a fun fact, it's an eccentric motion that promotes muscle growth. Or in my case, it's the slow lowering into the squat, the downward motion. And because of the nature of the picking up the cards, the eccentric motion is prolonged and exacerbated. Meanwhile, with the placement of the card, it's like a spring effect. 
I'm kind of you're leaning over out again of the, of the position instead of just painstakingly lowering myself which makes it easier on me oh man we're on card 16 by the way card 16 the last time I did these was two weeks ago and I quit at 12 I can't hear a thing that Black Kitty 2 is saying over my earbud but I need the music so the earbuds aren't going anywhere oh, it's actually my calves that are really hurting for certain which means I have to put more weight on my heels. Try feeding them with my left hand to help ease out some of the imbalance issues I've been feeling. Because so I'm naturally leaning more towards the right side of my body because I'm using my right hand to pick up and sit down the cards. So I think the game is going to be set down with left, pick up with right. Oh. Guys, stay with me. It's getting hard to separate the cards while they're in my hands because of all the sweat. Oh well. Well, I 
I should do or not. Fuck it. You should deadlift quietly at the gym. But why would you? There will be grunts. The weights will clang. Black kitty! What? I need a towel. It's in my eyes! At this point, right it's just a, a mind battle. My legs feel okay while I'm moving. With the, the steps stop. Oh, thank you. No problem. Thank you. Just keep it wrapped around your torso. I don't have your shoulders. When I stop, oh God, there it is. This is when the pain discovers me. It finds me in the Alps. Like a skeleton in an unlit prairie. Just picked up like three of them right there. Damn sweaty cards. Also, little enough effect. Squatting power comes from the ass, the glutes. <clears throat> For the best squatting, you gotta use your hamstrings and glutes like a spring. Of these. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Needed to tap into my chi. <sighs> and give myself a break too.
Okay. Legs, do the thing. Legs, do the thing. You can do it. Come on. Daddy needs you guys. Okay, you know what? Are you done? Come slap me. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Well, how many did you do? My legs gave out on 22. So that would be 44? Wait, no, not 44. That's like 430 yeah, something? 430 something, because you have to add all the other cards and subtraction. I don't know, I'm not going to try to do math, because I'm an absolute fucking moron. But you know what? Come on. Posture up. Unhealthy. Alright. Legs hurt. Legs? Huh. Right. Come on, legs. Do the thing one more time. Come on. Daddy Come on, needs baby. you. Come on. Ah. No, 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 no. Is it here? Yeah, face the camera. Are to slap you now? Yeah. Be gentle. All right, I'll try. Ah. Uh. I don't know. That's like not a good move. It's kind of pathetic. Is it? That's a question for the chat. I don't think it's hard enough. You're a masochist and don't get a say in it. No, a sadist and don't get a say in it. No, I just don't think it's hard enough. <laughs> it felt hard enough. It, it really did. Like it, it seems like you got pleasure out of it for some reason. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, shit. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, fuck. No, mm -hmm. don't do it again. No, Come no, on. you stay back. Come on! She she already slapped me, it's over. No, like I need to slap her with my palm. No, you don't, go I slapped her with my finger, that's why I hurt that much. You're not trying to... Like, what kind of professional slapping game you think this is? <laughs> it is the game of professional slapperisms. No, it's not. He slapped me, but we're good. Yes, this is. The rest is just abuse I don't consent to. Well, can, turn around. No! Turn around. No, my ass is staying planted in the chair. No, turn around. I'm, I'm good, bro. <laughs> Get the, the fuck back. I, I sat down like seven. I tried to, I, I like, my legs passed, went past oh, parallel, and I just froze, dude. And I knew it was over. Yeah.
Uh, yeah, I put down seven. Uh, Sixty-seven. I lost count. Oh shit. Oh, you've been calculating the whole time. That's dope. Uh, yeah. Seven hundred seventeen hundred and twenty-two? No, dude, fuck that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what the formula is either. It's actually 1357. I was wrong earlier in the Discord. Because you're putting down the number of cards that you just picked up, right? So you pick up card one, and then you put it down, and then you pick up two, right? So when you're done with the second card, you, you've uh, like done one, one, two, so it's like one, three. Then card three is five, then card four is seven, etc., etc. So it's like one plus three plus five. Like that. Oh man. Yeah, but you're halfway through the card when you pick up two. A full card is setting down all the cards on top of it and then picking it up. Right? Because if you get to the end and you do the very last card, then you set down an odd number of cards and you pick up an even number. No, it's the first one that's odd. Because the first one, you're not putting down any cards on top of it. The last card is like all the other cards, because you're setting down all the cards on top of it and then picking them all up. Yeah, what you did, minus one, basically. So it's minus 20, 416. I nearly got to a funny number. Yay! It's far away. Oh, oh you mental. Uh, bro. I don't know. Okay. Give me a second. Pick up one. Put down one. Pick up one. Then pick up two. Pick up one. Put down one. Then pick up two. But then that's the end of card two. Okay. We're gonna squat up. Thanks, Sour Patch. <laughs> Thanks, bro. So that's already oh, five. shit. Yeah! I did it! Yeah, okay, so it is one, three, five, seven, five, I can't hold it for long. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sour Patch. Yeah, I did it! Yay! I did it! <sighs> Thanks, Sour Patch. You're the real MVP. And we're gonna we're gonna do some writing now. So I wanna thank first of all uh Songor, thank you for the follow. Mm -hmm. Sour Patch donated over two hundred, like two hundred and fifty bits this stream. Thank you, dude. Shenanigan uh, donated another fifty bits. And I wanted to thank Zauvi for donating two bits. Thank you guys for the cheers. Every little bit goes a long way. 329 bits. Yeah. Yeah, you all did your best. I'm sorry I couldn't meet the expectations. That's why I pushed out earlier today and said a thousand in the Discord. But it's like, you know what? That doesn't seem right. Just set a high goal. Go from there. I bet if the goal was lower, I wouldn't have made it as far. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But 
Nature Tech, please shout out your boy in the chat. Yeah, I probably would have. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. I did, I didn't want to pitch out. My inner Joe Rogan just confronted me this afternoon and was like, "Quit being a bitch. You know you can do it at 500." Uh, exclamation mark. S.O. Space. Your streamer's name. Sour Patch, like to you slap. You did a good job. Black Kitty. She's not satisfied with her slap. She wanted to hit me harder. See? She's a fucking sadist, man. Straight up, if she went any harder, she would have knocked my ass over. There's no way I could have taken it. She does. She does a lot of kung fu. I'm gonna scroll up and see if I can find your dude's name, but that was such a long time ago in the chat. If you just type his name in the comments, Nature Tech, I'll be able to take it from there. Full channel name: Eagle Eye Seven Two One Four Three. You got it. Thank you all once again for hanging out with me today. It was totally worth 38 cents, bro. It was worth every penny. And it was actually $3.38. Oh, uh, it's getting a good slap worth 380 bits. Yes. Oh, shit. I'm going to try this out for myself. I'm not actually going to do any of this. I just want to know. Uh, I just got to grip my teeth and take it, right? Yeah, it's fucking rain. As long as she puts it on the cheek and not, like, my temple. Right? Pick up one. Pick up one. Pick up two. Hold on a second. We're spying a gym rat. Pick up one. Pick up one. She wants to do the thing. two. I don't want to do the thing. I'm just testing it, all right? <laughs> she, I'm not going to freaking give up. She's trying to do math. Yeah, I, like, no. Okay, I took a fucking college algebra test for the entire spring semester, and yet I cannot figure this shit out. The fuck? Sour Patch. This offering another $3.80 nope. for a big slap. Big slap. And then raid, gentlemen. Three. Oh wow, that is a lot of lag. Okay. Alright. Face me. Big slap. Face me. Right. Go easy. Oh no. Okay. Oh see. shit. I'm not at that level yet. Oh no. This is kind of scary actually. She's gonna knock me out, dude. Mm -hmm. That was, like, that was like a rabbit slap because I turned away. <laughs> I fucking slapped your ear too, y'all. Damn, I'm sorry. Can you see my legs shaking right now? Yes. <laughs> Damn, I keep fucking hunching over. Oh. Like, I noticed that you just look. <laughs> Don't feel bad for the squats. No, like... This is one of my tricks. Uh. Like. <laughs> so. Alright, and now. Down it's raid time! Put down two. Thank you all for tuning in. Three. Thank you for all those bits, Sour Patch. One. It was worth it. I didn't get knocked out. It was. Well, I made it a rabbit slap by looking the wrong way. Anyway. Three. Okay. Let's okay. get to it. Let's try this, okay? Three again? Raiden six. eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. Let's get it. Pick up four. 
I'm not going to even try doing the fifth one because I don't want to burn myself out for my class. Okay. One plus two. One plus two. So it's one. I can't even see this, guys. You do one squat to pick it up before one squat to put it down. And you do two squats to pick two up. Where is my ring emo? Two plus three. <laughs> Those are some awesome emotes. I'm gonna try something. I'm actually gonna write this shit down. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Like, I took a whole ass class. I'm gonna fucking remember how to figure this shit out. Fair enough. It was glorious. <laughs> Doing like 50 squats. My legs do... My legs do the Bambi. Uh, <laughs> made it for 416 squats is damn impressive. Did you do added weight or just your body? Just body weight? Uh, I mean, even then, that's still impressive. 416 body weighted squ squats. That's. I myself am not physically fit. So, I mean, I'm impressed that you even got that far. Uh, stream's going okay. Um, I'm currently trying to get Friend of the World, the Friend of the World aspiration in Sims 4. Which is proving to be more difficult than I thought it would be. What do I need to get it? I, at this stage... I need to, uh, yes, I do play some Skyrim. Uh, at this stage, I need to get six more friends and go up one more level into, uh, Charisma. I, I pretty much play a little bit of everything. Uh, I normally build in this game. So, doing anything like in live mode is somewhat new to me. I got a basic understanding of it, but I'm pretty much a builder in this game. I'm thinking maybe after a couple days of doing this to kind of Building stuff is something I live with. Fair enough. Uh, wait a minute. Six, twelve. I don't get it. No, it's <laughs> squat math. Little black kitty's trying to figure out the formula for my squats still. I don't get it. Because he picked up one card and you put down one card. One times two. <laughs> I, I feel like this is something well, lost just, on me. We're just confused the Hey, I got another new know, friend. Like, nobody knows what the hell Tyson's called. Cool, you can go home now. Nobody knows what the fuck a Tyson's It is late is. in the night. I need to still pee. <laughs> I need to eat. I don't have enough time to actually make food, so make cheese crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 
that's fine, Black Kitty. Go for it. I do not mind. Um, I would say no excessive caps, but I, I feel like you you got a good reason for it, so I'll let it go. Uh, so card forty is thirty nine squats today down, and then forty to pick them all up. Huh. I think I kind of see what's going on. So effectively, for him to do squats, or for them to do squats, they would, they had like a set of cards, and they would pick them up and put them down over and over again, right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's complicated, yes, but it's not... It's not overly complicated. The numbers behind it can be, because I guess it depends on the way you look at the numbering, but... Ah. I may do. I'm not super into fitness, so I most likely won't. But I, I get the general concept, at least, and that... That's enough to understand what was going on. But... Um, after I do a few more days of this to kind of... Just get the feel for the new pack that my friend just got me, I think I'm going to, uh... Maybe do Dark Souls? I'm not sure which one. A uh, friend of the world is an aspiration. Uh, it will give me a special perk in game. Like if I do get it, it makes it so I will get the beloved trait, and anyone who has that trait will never have their friendship relations decay like they normally would. You reckon uh, Dark Souls OG, like the Dark Souls 1? I can totally try that. Um, I will be honest, the only Dark Souls I've ever actually played is 3, and I considered it beat, but I never got the achievement for beating it, which I guess means I never beat it, but yeah. I, I would definitely be willing to give Dark Souls another go. <laughs> uh, Black Kitty's just still going with the numbers. <laughs> it's okay, Black Kitty. But yeah, if any of you guys are up for... Oh, and thanks to um, Greenstone and his raid for subbing. Or not subbing, following. I appreciate that. If any of you guys are up for watching me maybe do, um, Dark Souls, uh, I'll probably do it maybe Wednesday. I might stream tomorrow. I I will be streaming tomorrow. I'll probably stream Sims 4, but I'll probably do, um, I'll probably do building. Not that I'm disliking my, uh, live play, but I don't know. I feel like I play live very boringly. Yeah, thank you, Nature Tech. I, I didn't even realize he sent you guys here. I know he appeared in my chat a little while ago, then disappeared all of a sudden. And then <laughs> next thing I know, I'm getting raided by you guys. Guys. I mean, a any amount of people coming into my stream, it, it makes me happy. Because the whole reason I started streaming was to chat to people. So I, I much appreciate it. <laughs> 